Hello, mathematicians. All right, happy Thursday. Hope you're doing well. All right, for today's read aloud, we are going to read a story called C Squares by Joy N. Holm, illustrated by Carol Schwartz. So in this read aloud, we are gonna be reviewing some multiplication facts. Um, so count along with me and um, here we go. C squares. It says, for all my children and grandchildren who love nimble numbers. So remember that I'll read it and then zoom in so you can see. Come with me to the side of the sea where the ocean meets the shore. We'll count some creatures that crawl and creep or grow on the ocean floor. Some flop, some dive, some swim and swish, some fly where the breakers roar. Good. There we go. One one-ton whale. How much is one ton? If you don't know how much one ton is, Ask a grown-up. One one-ton whale with one water spout and one strong tail to push him about. Can you spot one spout, one whale, and one strong tail? Two two-eyed gulls with two wide wings shrieking and swooping and and pecking up things. Two white gulls with two eyes each have four bright eyes to watch the beach. Two white gulls with two eyes each have four bright eyes to watch the beach. Three three-striped clownfish, black, white, and red, nesting in an enemy's spiny ocean bed. Three clowns with frowny faces have nine stripes in fishy places. Three clowns with frowny faces have nine stripes in fishy places. Four slippery seals with four flippers each, swooping in the surf and flopping on the beach. Four seals are quite complete with 16 flippery feet. Four seals with four flippery feet each. 16 feet all together. Five. Five feathered sea, sea lilies waving fringy stalks, growing on the ocean floor, clinging to the rocks. Those five lilies on the ocean have five fronds in motion. We call these parts of the lilies fronds. Those five lilies on the ocean have 25 fronds in motion. Let's see, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, all together. Six six-pointed sea stars with rays all around, turning seaside somersaults on the sandy ground. That's only six sea stars sprawling, but 36 arms are crawling. That's only six sea stars sprawling, but 36 arms are crawling. Six on each. Six plus another six, 12 plus another six, 18 plus another 6, 24, plus another 6, 30, plus another 6, 36. 36 arms are crawling. 6 times 6. 7 heavy pelicans diving for their dinner. 7 fish in every pouch can never make them thinner. 7 pouchy pelicans gulp. 49 fish with fins. Seven pouchy pelicans gulp. 
49 fish with fins. Seven pelicans with seven fish each equals 49 fish all together. Seven plus seven, 14. Plus another group of 14, 28. Plus another group of 14 is going to be, why am I blanking right now? Four, 28, 42. Plus another group of seven, 49. There we go. All right, eight. Eight-legged octopuses kicking in the ocean, stirring up the currents in a watery commotion. Eight octos. Now, hold on a second. Do you remember what the word octo means? It means eight. So when we talk about octopus, we have the number eight built into their name. Eight octos on the ocean floor have scrambled legs. Sixty-four. So eight octopuses with eight legs each. 64. There we go. 8 times 8 is 64. Nine bottom walking tubfish catching clams to munch. Nine slurped up in every bite will make a tasty lunch. Nine tube fish, nine tubfish have a treat of 81 clams to eat. So nine tubfish each catch up nine clams. 9 times 9 is 81. 9 tubfish have a treat of 81 clams to eat. Here we go. 10 squirmy squids squirting 10 inky trails, pulling 10 tentacles like 10 wagging tails. When, Ted's, when 10 squids retreat so fast, 100 tails go swishing past. When ten squids retreat so fast, a hundred tails go swishing past. So what multiplication sentence would that be? Ten squids with ten tentacles. Ten times ten equals one hundred. It's always fun beside the sea, along the sandy shore, to square the numbers of seals and such, where the ocean breakfast roars. Why don't we stay for another day, or two or three or four, to count amounts, then square the counts and tally up the score. The end. All right, so if you would like a bit of a challenge, what I want you to do is go back, rewind the video, and tally up all of the numbers add them all together and what do you get so the totals for each page one times one is one two and so on and so forth right and tally all all of the totals up from the whole c square read aloud all right friends have fun in your uh activity today that will be in the tutorial below uh take care